Hi, my name is Jeanette Estrada, and I've had the pleasure of being one of the music teachers here at Centralia Elementary School District. This year I've taught at Centralia, Dysinger, Buena Terra, and Miller, and I've enjoyed working with all of the students here so much. Um, and we have two programs here. We have a general music program and a strings program. And the goal of those programs is to give all students the opportunity um, to enjoy learning music. So our first program is general music, and this program reaches TK all the way up to fourth grade. And the goal of that is to introduce students to basic music concepts, will you, which you will see them use in their performances. And our other program is our strings program, which is for fifth and sixth graders that chose to sign up to play the violin. And through this program, they learned basic violin techniques as well as basic music reading skills. And our general music students will be performing one song, each grade level will be performing their own song, and our strings programs will be performing um, the blues. Part of that, they have written as a class so one week as a class, they worked together to compose one of these blues verses. And the other part was composed by a student that was partially selected by myself and partially voted on by the rest of the class. I'm very, very excited to show you what they've been working on. And I hope that you enjoy watching this music showcase. We're going.
All students did such an amazing job this year, but there were a select few students that did an outstanding job and stuck out above other students. So we will be presenting them with some awards. These are, awards are split into four categories. First, we have the composition category, which is the award given to the student whose composition was played in their performance. So this student, like I said before, was partially selected by myself and partially voted on by the rest of the class. We have the Dedication Award, and this award was given to the students who remained dedicated from the very beginning of the class. We have the Perseverance Award, which was given to those students who maybe had some challenging moments but worked through those moments and came out on top at the very end. And we had the Leadership Award, which encompasses all of these things. These students were dedicated, these students were perseverant throughout the year, and these students were role models for the rest of the class. Our first award category is the Composition Award. The first award goes to Lillian Cuenca. Congratulations, Lillian. Our next Composition Award goes to Rylan Legaspi. Congratulations, Rylan. Our next award category is the Dedication Award. The first award goes to Nancy Trinidad. She was quiet, but she was always working hard, and it was evident in the progress she showed in her belt tests. Congratulations, Nancy. Our next award goes to Shalini Santosh Kumar. She always stayed on task, and she was very excited to show me how she was getting better in class. Congratulations, Shalini. 
Our next award goes to Jared Aguilar. He was always on task and he was always striving to be his best. Congratulations, Jared. Our next award goes to Sofia Garcia. Some aspects of the violin came naturally to her, but she continued to work just as hard as everyone else the entire time we were in violin class. Congratulations, Sophia. Our last dedication award goes to Brady Mitsao Kainoa Eklarinal. He was super excited to play the violin. In fact, one time I let the class um, compose a part of the blues on their own and I let them know a week before, but he came into class with his composition already done before the class even started their own. Congratulations, Brady. Our next award category is the Perseverance Award. Our first award goes to Shavin Koditu Waku. There were points where he was really struggling with some of the brand new things we were learning, but he would put in the work to be among the best. Congratulations, Shavin. The next award goes to Sienna Wilson. She worked hard through challenging things, especially when we learned how to bow, and her work and practice was evident in class. Congratulations, Sienna. Our last award goes to Yashrit Kaur. Through sometimes when she had a hard time practicing in class, she would ask questions and she would go work at home, and it was evident that um, she was making progress in her belt tests. Congratulations, Yashri. Our next award category is the Leadership Award. The first award goes to Sarah Roth. She was often the first in class, excited and ready to learn and practice, and she would encourage other students to practice with her. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next award goes to Addison Martel. She was always on task and she knew when it was appropriate to talk, laugh, or joke, and she knew when it was time to get down to business and students followed her lead. Congratulations, Addison. Our next award goes to Jasmine Aguirre. She was always on task. She was dedicated from the very beginning and when the violin got challenging, she made sure to practice and persevere through those challenges. Congratulations, Jasmine. Her last leadership award goes to Caitlin Wadley. Others naturally followed her lead and she used that for good. She persevered through some challenges of learning how to play a brand new instrument and she would always help me tear down at the end of class. Congratulations, Caitlin.